Hello, my name is Laurel Murchison, student athlete at North Carolina State University, the best university in North Carolina. Actually, the best university in the country, but hey, that's another subject for a different day. Um, and the book I read was The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Now, this book is actually intriguing because the title, The Obstacle is the Way, is actually the whole book. But the thing about it, they actually give you examples from very famous and successful people the trials that they went through and how they handled the situations. They definitely handled the situations different than, you know, most people take it. Most people would take it be like, ah, oh, man, ah, oh, man. So say they have an obstacle. Ah, oh, man, ah, oh, man, this is too much. They'll take it like, hey, whatever we got to handle, let's handle it. Such as, uh, i give you an example, Steve Jobs. They said, hey, this right here won't be done in time. He fired the person that said this won't be done in time, and he got it done himself. <laughs> but um, why I chose this book? I went to my strength and conditioning coach, one of the coaches, one of my strength and conditioning coaches. I asked him, I said, um, man, what's the best book on leadership that you read? And he handed me the book. He said, hey, this ain't got no pictures in it, man. But um, <laughs> just read it and you'll, you'll like it. I'm pretty sure it'll be, it'll be great. It's the best book I know on leadership. So um, three takeaways I got from it. You got to be consistent. Consistency is key. Um, you can't leave one day. And then the next day you're doing something wrong and expect the people to still look up to you. You got to know who you're leading. Um, control your emotions. You know, uh, don't fold under pressure. Don't, you know, like when things are hard, you got to stand up tall to lead the people that's under you. Or you got to just be a leader. You got to rise up out of tough situations. And then recognizing your power. Recognizing your power. I, I mentioned it in my first slide, um, my first paper. Recognizing your power and knowing what you got. Knowing who you're leading and knowing people look up to you, recognize what you have. I would definitely recommend it to anybody uh, needing uh, on leadership and I'm grateful to have read the book.